Hello, everybody. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. How are we doing out here? Welcome, 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 welcome. Oh, it's wonderful to see you all. Welcome on in, my friends. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's the Hardcore Minecraft Friday stream. Oh, I'm so very excited. I am so very excited to be playing Minecraft. Dude, Minecraft 1.20, so fun. So fun. I can't stop playing. I can't. I just... I just want to play 1.20 right now. It's just so cool. Uh, first off, Travis, thank you so much for becoming a member. We got SS Love 99 with the four months. Thank you for being part of the wonderful community. And Shadowcat with the five months. Love your videos. You inspire millions. Hey, I appreciate you hanging out here. And thank you so very much again for the five months. Woo! See, we got Scribbly Dibbly in here. We got Julie. We got uh, da -da 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 -da. Profit Sloth, Sarah. What's up? Miles, how we doing? Iron Knight, what's going on? Yusuf, how we doing? Dark Fire Beach, Mystica Rain. Hello, made it home to watch. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Ah, hi everybody. Hi everybody. Sarah, how we doing? Yeah, it's very hot here today. I was like, I can't, I can't wear an actual shirt. I will be sweating like crazy. I will be sweating like crazy. Shanae, hi, welcome on in. We got, I see we got Jay. What's up, Mallow? How you doing? Good to see ya. Evan, welcome, welcome, welcome. Bunny, missed you. Hey, we're here, we're here, we're trying. Blocky, what's going on? Eggs left me. How could they? How could he? Marcel, what's going on? It looks hot where you are. Yeah, it's 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 a toasty one today. It's really humid. I was outside watering all the plants in the garden, and I was like, I'm I'm sweating. I'm just already sweating. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Nat Renee, how you doing? Hi, 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 hi. Swampy Chicken, what's going on? Tez, thank you so much for the 16 months at tier two. Friday stream hype indeed. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Bird Draws, thank you so much for the four months. Yay, hardcore stream. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff we're going to be working on today. One, I promise we will be tackling the Shulker Monster. But first, we've got a few other things to do first. And we run out of time. Oh, no, it just isn't going to happen. What do we do? Oh, no. <laughs> it's fine. We'll figure it out. We'll do it. TK Ander, what's going on? What's going on? Good to see you. Good to see you. It's hot in Seattle, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's like it's mid. It's gonna be like mid upper 70s today, but it's humid, so it's like sticking. Like we were in Arizona last week, and it was 105, which was really hot if you're in the sun. But the second you're out of the sun, it was okay. And now here, I'm out of the sun, and I'm just like, <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> Bunny, thank you so much for the dono. So sassy today. I haven't even gotten started. <laughs> Megan Parsons, thank you so much for the three months. Great way to spend my birthday morning. <gasps> happy birthday. Can we get some happy birthdays in the chat, please, my friends? Happy birthdays in the chat. Ryan, thank you so much for becoming a supporter. Fufu, thank you so much for the tier one membership. I really do agree. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Skate, thank you so much for being here. Hello. Welcome on in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> there we go. There's all the birthdays. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And my friends, while you're leaving a happy birthday, leave a like on the stream to help me out. I very much do appreciate it. We've got 1,500 people in here, and we're not even at 500 likes yet. I believe. I believe we can do it. Also, now is the point where the stream usually crashed. Did anybody crash today? Or has the 30 FPS thing actually worked? By the way, can you tell that the stream quality is worse this week compared to previous weeks? That I want to know. It would be a little bit lower on the stream on the fps but quality should be about the same world download at 5,000 days uh no world download will be when did we do the last one episode 30 and i'm on episode 38 now so we might do one in episode would you prefer episode 40 because it feels like not much has happened let me pull up this series we're gonna look at this we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do some investigation to the flip youtube channel playlists where is it wow we've been going on for a long time beautiful playlist yeah episode 30 oh i guess it's a lot has happened that we did the village transformation wow that was three months ago okay yeah episode 40 we're doing a world download it's been three months since the last one so yeah episode 40 we're are we in episode 39 yeah okay yeah we just put out episode 38 yesterday and since the last world download we've done the ocean monument build which was really cool we've done the industrial district we've done the copper factory we've done the horse stable and racetrack and i actually really want you all to go and do the race and let me know what time you get i think that'd be fun 
and then we did the auto farm episode then we then I did the mountain building and we did the updating to 1.20 episode and then the armor trim and armor episode okay yeah 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 now we're ep world download coming forever for supporters at uh episode 40 when we get there that's that's gonna be the way we're going there you go <laughs> Raider, thanks so much for the dono. Uh, one thing I would not recommend doing is asking that question on live streams. <laughs> uh, it kind of comes off on live streams as, hey, people subscribe to me. Uh, when I know, I hope you're just asking the question instead of doing that. I appreciate the dono. Um, the biggest way you can generate subs is learn how to stand out, but still be in something that people are looking for. The way I did it back in when I was starting building with Whip and where I really first started growing was instead of putting tags on my channel that said Minecraft, I put, this was back in 1.12, so I've been around for a while. I put Minecraft 1.12 survival, let's play. The big channels don't put that in there. And so you're get, when people do search for that, you have a higher chance of showing up. If you put Minecraft as a tag and you have two subscribers on your channel and I put Minecraft as a tag on my video and I have one point almost five million subscribers, you're going to lose. There's just no way you're going to win that battle. Uh, so you need to learn how to play the tag game. You need to go research about search engine optimization. Super fun, right? Who wants to learn about SEO? Cause that's how you be a YouTuber. <laughs> you need to learn how to work with the search engine <laughs> and also make good content. That's kind of priority number one, learn how to make good content. Priority number two, learn how to market your content to be successful. If you're doing both those things right and you're not gaining growth, you're actually doing one of them wrong. <laughs> if you're doing both of those correctly and you're, you think you're doing them correctly and you're like, why don't I get subs? you're actually not doing it you one of those you're doing wrong <laughs> and have good audio well that comes with making good content so you know there's that there you go <laughs> there's your tips for the day <laughs> all right let's get into minecraft shall we where i have been sitting here before stream started hanging with my sniff sniff i'm trying to get a bunch of sniffer eggs because i think in the next episode i really want to use torch flowers uh, so I'm working on getting as many sniffer eggs as I can. I'm kind of just storing them for now because these guys, they poop out enough seeds for now. Uh, Ryan, thank you so much for the donut. What do you think the next MC update will have? Dude, if it is not something to do... Ooh, we got two more. Uh, with the end and or an inventory update, I think I will actually be sad. No, I won't be sad. I, I pre whatever Mojang adds for updates, I appreciate. Like they're still updating this game. I paid I paid eighteen dollars for ten years ago. I've never had to pay anything else for it, so that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I think. Uh, ooh, did we get the last egg? Yeah, yeah, we should have three. Okay, perfect. Um, I would love for an end update. I think the end just needs more, and it gives them the ability to fill in those missing wood colors that we don't have. Like we don't really have a good purple wood type. There are no outside of purple, which is kind of a weird one. There's no good like purple slabs and stairs in the game. Like there's just none. Uh, so having something for that. Yeah, we got five eggs now, which I'm just not hatching now because I just want to be able to move. I want to move these boys that are down there, and that'll be stressful uh, to move them around. And then I want to just hatch the new ones where we get them. So redo the end. Yeah, the end outer end islands, they need an update and they just need something more fun. I also wouldn't be surprised if the next update has something player progression wise in it. I think that is something Mojang needs to add because they're starting to the cosmetics, so like armor trims and things like don't get me wrong. This stuff is so cool, but they don't really have anything that's like increasing player power right now. And I think there's a big community that likes that. So I think they're going to add something along those lines. I don't know what, but I hope it's not anything too absurd where it just makes the game too easy. Um, so I think it could also be fun if they just like a full decoration block update. I think it'd be cool. Um, even if like their power upgrade is actually giving the fletching table a use, I think that would be good. My friends, if you have not, please be sure to leave a like on the stream. We are at 800 likes. I think we can get up to a thousand. I think we can do it. We almost got 1800 people in here. That means a thousand of you. Vast majority have not liked the stream. But anyways, I don't have my elytra on. Uh, I think the sniffers, 
I want to relocate them over here. I think we're going to turn world spawn into sniffer habitat land. I know it's going to add more entities here, but I also want the farm to be running constantly. I haven't looked it up or tested it really if sniffers work if players aren't nearby. So like if you can spawn chunk them and they'll, I guess they won't move. So they won't be able to find new seeds, but we're around this area enough and I want to build around here. So I, I think it could work. Because we got the iron farm. That cactus farm needs to go. Or maybe that'll be next episode. I actually put a building around it. So that could be something. Uh, we got Bella. Thank you so much for the dono. I really do appreciate that. That's very, very kind of you. Rumble Bumble with the tier 2 membership. I really appreciate that. Make sure you join the Discord. If you want to jump on the server, you can do that at tier 2, my friend. If you're looking for a Java Minecraft server to hang out on. And Profi Sloth, thank you so much for the 17 months. Cute sniffies. You're right. They are cute sniffies. Uh, Kaija, thank you so much for coming to support. I really do appreciate that. And I missed another one in there. Jax, thanks so much for the two months. I really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, my friends. I think... So, for now, uh, we need to find... So, there's a reason why I need to organize this today. is because it's an absolute mess. Um, actually, it might still be in my ender chest. Oop, goodbye, Rocket. You served us terribly. Yeah, so we need this guy here. We're going to need to go buy some more bricks because I'm actually out of them. Uh, but we can do that really easily. And then I need my diorite one. We're going to need that too. And then there should also be one in here that's mostly mushroom blocks. Or maybe I put it down somewhere. Nice to meet you. Where's my diorite box? That's my birch box. I usually have a diorite box. Ah! Ah! Diorite. Diorite. Oh, there it is. Oh, there's both of them. Perfect. Okay, let's go buy some bricks and then we'll get to work on the wall. So what I'm thinking building wise today, I just want to do a quick little run through and uh, finish up this little section from here over to here just to kind of cap that off. And then that'll give me kind of a better idea of what building I can smash into here. And then the goal for that gatehouse, those two little circle rounded off rectangles <laughs> let's go with the proper term form um my plan just to keep it on theme with the city and make sure everything's standing in here you don't always have to do something unique uh, you can reuse assets especially if it's not even close to it so i want to duplicate this this whole thing up here we're gonna just flip it and put it over on that side with the flags and everything on it i think it's gonna look really cool um so we're gonna do that. That'll be great. Best place find sniffer egg. Uh, Savardar, thanks so much for the dono, my dude. The only place you can find sniffer eggs is in suspicious sand. So you gotta either be in a warm ocean, a lukewarm ocean, or finding desert wells. Those are the only places sniffer egg can spawn. They do not spawn in cold ocean biomes. I can confirm that. The amount of people that I've seen put out videos being like, I swear they spawn here, just not as much. They actually, they, they don't spawn there. They don't. Go read the wiki. <laughs> um, so your typical YouTuber clickbaiters um, are lying to you. I'm sorry. But yeah, if you want to get sniffer eggs, go all the way out to a warm ocean. You can know you're in one by the water color. It's the lightest color of blue that you're going to find. It's almost like a turquoisey. Or you, if you're in a coral reef, there you, then you just start looking for them. Nope, we want brick blocks. Also, a bunch of people commented on the video saying, hey, Flip, you know these can stack, right? Decorative pots. What I meant by not being able to stack is here. You can't put stacking in there. I know you can stack them like that. That works great. But you can't stack them in your inventory, which is the big bummer because they take up so much space. Sorry, I had to rant about that. I want to put big pots everywhere in my world and they're just so big. We're actually going to take these. Look at that. They take up two spots. That's 128 blocks worth of space. Think I want to live like that? No. I'm kidding. I will. I will do it for the pot. Oops. Pots. Minecraft pots. Like decorated pots. You should do a grand entrance to the cave city. What do you mean they need a grand entrance to the cave city? Is that not perfect enough right there? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> hey, we hit a thousand likes. Rex almost at 1100 likes. Thank you, everybody. 
how did it take to find all the iron customization tablets um do you mean these the armor trims <laughs> to do like this stuff that was um we did a bunch of them on stream which was like a four hour stream and then the remaining ones took me about another three hours in total silence here was so easy i i was so happy when i found that if you go and watch the clip back i'm like ah, ah, ah. i was just so overwhelmed with just being so happy about it that i found it because all i knew was i i follow silent whisper on uh twitter we we haven't done anything together in minecraft for a very long time and he's a bedrock minecraft youtuber if any bedrock players are out there cool guy um but he was talking about how he'd been searching forever and he could just never find one and he he did like four or five days of streaming multiple hours every single day to keep trying to find the silence one and just couldn't get it and i was like this is gonna take forever i don't have that much time to record this video like i am in big trouble if this takes a long time and then i get it in the second city and the amount of joy the amount of emotions that i went through in like a 30 second period <laughs> which is so much it was so funny wish i got the tide armors trim but i'm still too weak uh if you take an invisibility potion and you don't wear any armor i think you can kill them without them seeing you you just have to hit once run away hit once run away hit once run away um but if you're playing in hardcore maybe don't do that uh also, if you take like a strength potion obviously don't drink a bucket of milk because it'll remove the potion effects but if you do that that can be a good way that you can you can get out of there you can i believe in you you can do it you're you're a professional i believe okay uh step one here let's take these guys and then i also need a good amount of those and we also got to go put the pots down quickly before we forget i must put my pots on the ground hot oh oh oh, oh, oh. i got bored this morning and so now we have a new person working the fishing stand <laughs> look at him he's like hey do you want this fish do you want this fish do you want to eat this fish hey you want the salmon so he he now works at the fish and chips stand um no oh, well, look at that guy ha, how'd that get there uh and then we're just gonna go throw we can do that kind of the block is the zone in so nobody can walk through there you need to make a warden mob switch i don't like mob switches i know they're super helpful and they can help keep players alive for a lot longer but i just mob switches are not for me I, I think it why play hardcore minecraft if you're going to get rid of every single mob in the world joking about you being 13 f whips play how you want you play how dead. you want play well diablo and have three minecraft series walk the dog and have a social life and a wife love you <laughs> alice thank you so much for the dono see the secret is the secret lots of caffeine and not a lot of sleep <laughs> no i'm kidding uh no i i i've been trying to be a lot more balanced to what i'm doing in life i and i think it's started to pay off but thank you so very much for the dono i really appreciate that that's very kind of you okay uh we're gonna start this now if we just kind of stack these guys up the reason i'm doing this is because i put the deep slate going sideways against it and like this and then we're just never gonna see those so i want to do that <laughs> I, actually, I was going to say I stopped playing WoW, but no, I started playing WoW Classic. I'm in trouble. I started playing WoW Wrath of the Lich King Classic, and uh, I don't think I'm going to be playing it for that long. I don't think I'm going to be playing it for that long because the community is rough, man. They are not nice people. <laughs> I'm just, I got my character. I'm like decently geared. I know what I'm doing. And people are like, no, you suck. You're not coming to any groups. I'm like, okay. That's fine. Like I can still beat all of you, but that's okay. <laughs> I will say, I know I was talking at the end of the video about um, jumping out and doing like a new side project. I'm very much thinking about doing that. I am thinking it's time to take a break from current projects and just go experience something new in the Minecraft world for a little while. 
uh, I don't think it'll be a long one, but I am actually, we're just, yeah, we're going to do that. I don't like it stepping up a single at a time. Uh, then we'll bring you down and do that. Perfect. Okay. And then we'll just make that wall section a little taller. That'll be okay. But yeah, so I think we're going to build the sniffer one next episode, work on spawn. And then after that, I'm thinking, cause that would be. You know what? Maybe we get through episode 40. We do episode 39 sniffer thing. Episode 40, maybe we work on covering this section here. Not with buildings, just like terraforming and then some buildings around here. I want this to be like a big, cool market square. I've got an idea in my brain about what I want it to look like. So maybe we do that. And then episode 41, we kind of take a break and move over to desert and do some stuff with a... Uh, do some stuff with camels and things. Such a shame WoW at the beginning was amazing. Molten, yeah, original Molten Core. Yeah, I, I, the first time I really got into WoW was actually Wrath of the Lich King back in the day. Like, that's when I got really into raiding and, like, did, like, what I guess would be considered cutting edge at the time was, like, killing the Lich King and all that stuff. Loved it. I had so much fun. Um, and that's where I, like, really fell in love with the game. And then, uh, I kind of just not fallen off, but I've just, like, more casually played in the recent years. I was really getting into it back in Dragonflight, but I realized that for me, I don't want to raid. Pleased to meet you. It's just too much time and just too much of a headache to want to do. So I just am Pleased not even you. bothering with it. Okay, so we want to take this here and we're just going to kind of start working up. What am I missing? We're missing Terracotta. Yeah, we're missing Terracotta and we're going to come back in at the end and add in that little extra texture stuff I was doing. That should be enough. Do we want dripstone? No. Yeah, maybe we can use the retexturing at the end. That could be fine. Build a mega build at 1.5 mil? Maybe. Who knows? We just hit a crazy milestone on the channel today, by the way. For the first time ever, I hit a million views in 48 hours on the Flip YouTube channel. So uh, I put a tweet out yesterday where I was just like, yeah, so not me laying on my floor right now, being overwhelmed with all the support recently. And I, I very much, I was lying on the floor right there, just like, do, 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 do. I just need to take a minute and look at my phone. Um, so yeah, it's been, the recent months have been absurd. Actually, the recent, the last six weeks, like the two since, like the week or two before New Life started, kind of at the end of Empires, everything on my channel has just went, and I just I really appreciate it y'all I absolutely really I don't even know what to say words are words are hard at this point <laughs> but the the support from everybody recently has just on the videos and all that has just been mind-blowing I don't even I don't even know so I just I I, I guess what I want to say is I'm just very grateful thank you everybody for all the support it's been it's been really cool it's been a bit of a headache recently um of our <laughs> we've had a we went from this year being like all right we're gonna save money and just kind of start preparing to like do some bigger projects around the house and things in the next few years and then it turned into this summer our deck to decided to rot out so we have to build a new deck uh, and we're pricing that out right now and talking with a few groups and then our <laughs> if you saw the post from monday our shower door decided to just shatter <laughs> so we don't have a bathroom in our bedroom now <laughs> uh so we're in the process of now <laughs> going through and just the whole bathroom is pretty bad it was really rough when we moved in the house and so it's always been like all right we're gonna we need to remodel it but just doesn't need to be remodeled now so now we're like doing a bathroom remodel and we're doing a new deck this summer after we did like a huge thing at the house last year and so it's just like oh <laughs> expensive uh and that's not me saying donate please uh that's just me saying i really appreciate the support so far so thank you i really appreciate it it's one of those things that has just made the stress of that whole situation pretty much disappear so i just really appreciate it but anyways julie thank you so much for the five months uh we got nero with the 10 months thank you thank you thank you alice again thank you so much for the dono earlier uh abmux I think so. Uh, thank you so much for the dono. I probably butchered that one. Chroma Holster with the 10 months again. I think I got... No, no, I think you're new. Julie and T Chroma Holster. Thank you both. I uh, love catching live streams and I'm building a giant tree as a home. Any advice on the roots? Make them bigger than what I did. <laughs> the roots of a tree typically expand as far out 
as the entire canopy of the tree because it needs a strong base so you want to probably don't do that completely above ground because the most of that's underground but you want to give the illusion of that so if you're building a giant giant tree you're going to want to make the roots bigger than what i did here i think i'm eventually going to have some like popping out down here like coming down the mountain uh mac thank you so much for the 12 months i think that's mac thank you thank you thank you i really do appreciate that it's very kind of you we forgot granite duh didn't realize this was Flip's channel. <gasps> nice to meet you. It's nice to use any terracotta build. Is it nice to use any terracotta build these walls? Uh, I in here would maybe nice use brown you. terracotta, but I really like the base terracotta because we're kind of going into that mud from to the brick, and then that kind of helps tie them back, but still give that cool color highlight. So. Nice to meet you. I forgot to check how tall we are up here shan thank you so much for the 17 months at tier two loving all the content hey i really appreciate you hanging out for this long miss may thank you so much for the five months at tier two going through a bit of a rough time still right now but still able to support you hope your home projects get figured out hey i really appreciate that and hope things turn around for you here too <laughs> i feel like it's that just that start of summer it's just we're like oh my god everything is happening okay what block level are we at down there that's 85 and i'm standing at 92. So how tall are we? Seven. And this is supposed to be, so we're gonna bring this. Oh, no, I can just follow this line because then we'll drop it down one and then we'll drop it down another. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, mental. Mental talking out loud without explaining the entire situation. I think by now, if you've hung around the channel for a bit, you should be used to that on this channel. So, yeah. That's that's how we do here. That's how we do. Okay, so this is going to be where we start dipping it back. Well, right here will be where we bring it down a block. So this needs to be leveled all the way up. And that should do. And then from here, we'll just brick the rest. Maybe with a little granite. And then we can brick. Perfect. Okay. Uh, I wish you could make the branches of the tree bigger. That's the only thing I don't love. Oh, that? Yeah. No, I, I, I want to change the tree. <laughs> it's one of those things that I see all the comments on it. And I'm like, yes, I agree. I agree a hundred percent that something needs to be changed on the tree, but no, we're not doing that. We're bringing up another one at the same time, the scale that that project is going to be that tree right there took me three weeks to build the entire thing from scratch and a week and a half was spent doing that. <laughs> just the top that that cloud is blocking right now thank you cloud you're doing great uh was just on the canopy that's why i didn't go any bigger is because i was at the point where i was like i need to get this video published i cannot spend any more time working on this i've spent a month and <laughs> i think wasn't that right before the wedding too if i'm remembering timelines right so I was like, I need to, I just need to publish the video. I have to, I had to call it. I had to call it somewhere. I want to fix it. Oh gosh, do I want it, want that to be updated? Um, and then I was like, I, I can't, I, I can't spend any more time on it. I have to call it. <laughs> so I'm very aware that it's bad and I'm very aware that it's a project to fix later. Uh, it's just whenever that project comes around, I don't know. I do want to do it though. I really want to expand it. The goal is to expand it basically probably from there coming out to about here like the canopy is gonna pretty much double in size which means that's probably gonna be two weeks of building just for the tree and that's like all day building like that's like build for the entire day <laughs> that doesn't even account getting blocks and everything in here okay so that goes to here and then we're going to take to this one. Nope. Are they all flat from here? 
The tree is good, but the branches need a little work. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, it is all flat from here. Oh, no. Oh, okay, I did mess up. This was supposed to come down, and then that's supposed to come down another one. Okay, uh, we need to take the tops of these off. Pull up. Thank you. Okay, so that right here, correct? Yes. Okay, so you need to come down one. And you need to come down two. And that'll be okay if the mud's coming all the way up. And then you need to be one lower than that. I was like, this feels really tall. I know it's a really tall wall to begin with, but it was feeling really tall. I caught him cheating with light Manica mod and armor trim timestamp 3309. That is the <laughs> stupidest comment I've ever read. <laughs> You're calling light Manica cheating? <laughs> Just leave. <laughs> Just go away. Oh my God. A YouTuber decided to pre-plan their build so they could make better content. Ugh. How could they cheat? They've lied to me. No, just go away. <laughs> you're, you're so dumb. Oh my God. <laughs> Somebody's been drinking the Kool-Aid of clickbait you of clickbait channels. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I can't even I can't even give a serious response to that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you think Light Matica is cheating. I'm just going to tell you now. I'm just going to tell you right now. You would be calling every single Minecraft YouTuber cheating. You would be saying every single Minecraft YouTuber out there right now that does anything building related is cheating. That is what you're saying right now. And if you're saying we're all cheating, then that's just the rules of the game. <laughs> If everybody's cheating, then it's not cheating. It's That's really, really big, dumb take. You're right. Yeah, I did use Light Matica. And you want to know why I don't show it in the videos? Is because the content looks better without it. I won't hide that I use it at all. Like, sure. Yeah, no, I use it. And it's because it allows me to, one, design a better build. So you have a better product in the end. So there's something more interesting for you to enjoy. Two, it helps me build quicker, which means you get more videos. That only is a benefit for you. Um, and three, it just helps with actually getting the things together. If you ever watch anybody's video where they're like, yeah, so I need about three and a half stacks of blah, 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 blah. They're using Light Matica. Or you wanna know what else they're using? They're, the, the other option for that is they have pictures on their side monitor. We're just gonna put this up here so I can jump up. Uh, that have the entire build on it. And then they probably have a picture of every single angle that they're just copying over. And you know what? I've done that too. That's a waste of time. <laughs> that is a terrible waste of time that gets you no benefit. So the way that I do it is when I'm building the thing and talking about it and making it, I go through and write notes on what I'm thinking when I'm designing this thing. When I'm designing it in a creative world and getting that thing ready to go, I'm writing down what I'm thinking. And then when I'm recording, I'm just giving you all my thought process of what I was going through. Like where, where I was at, what I was thinking, what everything was going on in my brain, so that you can still have the experience of me working through the thought process. That's... <laughs> So <laughs> I, I have seen a few people being like, you have light manica, you don't think blah, 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 blah. I'm like, yeah, but this is what I was thinking of when I was doing it. You be sassy about it too? I mean, no. <laughs> I think sass can be very warranted when somebody blatantly comes into your live stream and accuses you of cheating when there is no, nothing to be made out of it. You wanna know who I also assume that they watch is those channels that just cheat everything in their hardcore series. Probably like big hundred day Minecraft YouTuber fan and then doesn't realize that every single one that they're watching, the super clickbaity ones that publish videos all the time, that every single one of them is actually cheating and just spawning in items and adding time to their game to make it past days. Hmm. But no, no, it's me. It's me who's cheating and wrong. <laughs> Thank you.
because they actually caught this one whereas the other ones they I think it's one of those things where if you have to hide things in your content that's when it's wrong <laughs> like if you're openly like trying to like think about things and hide it from your content so viewers won't pick up on it or whatever you want to say like that's when you're like in the gray area I don't care to hide it <laughs> everything I do is very legit I nothing I do is cheating I've even had the glitch in this world where I randomly fell through the world riding a skeleton horse I told you all about that on a live stream <laughs> there's nothing hidden in this world pleased to meet you okay uh pleased that should work you. yeah we'll do that the inside's gonna be really hidden so it doesn't have to be as perfect who's your favorite 100 day youtuber I don't watch any of them I find 100 day style content to be so generic <laughs> I don't watch any of it actually that's the only one who I watched through the 100 days was Joel because Joel actually does it in in an interesting way everybody else is going full Luke the notable mode of and so I spent a th and then I spent this day gathering logs and over here on this day I gathered more logs and now we're on day three where I also gathered more logs like that's not interesting <laughs> If the comment if the commentary is generic, I am not interested in it at all. I can't I can't even get myself to sit there watching it. Okay, let's grab pause this and go get some logs. What about Lizzie? Lizzie only made one 100 days video, but she did a good job. Back that was back when they're in. Anybody with light Matica questions, join Discord. There's a lot of good videos on how to use it and what it can do. Can't watch 100 days content yeah i i kind of the only inspiration i took for 100 days content is the level of effort that i put into a video most of my videos take about 120 in-game days to produce that's just where it lands um sometimes more sometimes a little less like this last video was 97 in-game days to produce between finding the armor trims and getting this built and everything like that or it might have been like 105 i don't know so like technically 100 days style content but that's just what I use as like a way to gauge the amount of I guess you could say effort to put into a video I don't think effort's the right word but it's the only one coming into my brain so that's kind of where I land on it is I I use 100 days I the thing I got out of the 100 days being so popular was that like oh we need regular diet subs um was you can use it to like it proved that spending more time on a minecraft video and showing more gameplay and footage instead of just like the old school uh i'm gonna play for an hour and record and that's what i'm posting or i'm gonna build one house and that's my post for today which has its place there's still a lot of people that do that and they do it well um but for me that's i i never enjoyed that like back in the day when i was doing building with whip and i was building one house and trying to get three videos out per week and really struggling to get those out i really did not enjoy it i was getting really burned out on that because i was just feeling like i was churning through to get video you broke off the lead no he's done that a few times in 1.20 leads are breaking like i've had a lot of Ooh, you're not you're supposed to be up one other I've had a lot of leads break in 1.20. Has anybody else noticed that? Okay. Uh, also, uh, man coverage. Thank you so much for the tier two membership. Red Fire Panda. Thank you so much for becoming a member. We got Frozen Steel. Thank you so much for the dono. I really appreciate that. Been watching you for years and it's been great. Keep up the great work, great inspiration. Hey, I really appreciate it. That's very kind of you. And Allie, thank you so much for the 17 months. New viewer, I adore your content. Hey, thanks, Jillian. I appreciate that. Welcome on in. All right, we will have to do something with that LA. The reason why I moved him there is because I was flying around. I went to repair all my stuff at, in the you. end, popped out at spawn, and he was broken off his uh, little post. Lanero, thank you so much for the three months. I really appreciate that. Love your dedication and good content. Everyone does what they can to make their job easier and outcome better. Yeah, exactly. It's like, ah, curse you for being efficient. How could you? How could you be efficient? So that 
<laughs> for the person who earlier who was like wow it's really impressive that you can do all these things that's how <laughs> figuring out how to be more efficient with your time one of those things pre-plan the build get in there and do it sure there's i know some people are like well looney does it legit sure that's great looney can do play how he wants to play this is how i want to play i have more fun designing and creative and then putting it in game because i think i can make a better product which for me makes the game more fun no hate towards looney building it all legit and survival like that's totally fine i think it's a different brain mentality and i think in that route it turns more into using what you have on hand instead of using all of the blocks available to your disposal like looking at a creative menu is going to give you more don't get stuck in there uh options like purely just by the fact that all of the blocks are in there you will have better builds if you utilize them all sure if you plan in creative and you stick with your spruce on spruce on spruce on spruce that some people do you're not gonna have a better build because your build is gonna look the same on everything but if you take the time to actually like look through and research about like what you have available you can get a lot of better builds like that made me start realizing that i can use glazed terracotta and builds and make it look really cool and like the roof gradient there i would never have tried honey blocks if i wasn't just scrolling through looking for like an orange thing and i i love how it turned out also putting the oak next to the bamboo I found that because I was randomly just going through. I would have done a full bamboo roof and probably not tried texturing it. Okay, uh, let's go like this. And this is where it's going to get a little weird. We're just going to do these. And then along the front here, we'll throw in the trap doors. Okay, that has to stay there. That's fine. Uh, we'll just do that. That's okay. Nobody's really going to notice. Nobody's going to know. Not texturing. <gasps> How could you not texture something? No, the texturing and everything I do in here... The Big, the only reason I'm able to do what I'm doing now is because I'm pre-planning it and uh, getting an idea of what I want things to look like. If you see anybody who textures remotely to this scale and they're just like doing it on the first try, guarantee. Ooh, actually, I want to go see if that lead's still here. I would love to not lose that. <gasps> it is still here. Yay. All right, you stupid little Lele. Ready to go. Ready to get there he is. I'm gonna deal with you later. Just sit here. Stay. Stay. We're gonna have to put him in a box. He can't keep following me like that. He's gonna have to go into a box. Birch and cherry. Yeah, that works pretty well. And <laughs> cherry wood reminds me too much of ice cream. <laughs> it just gives big ice cream vibes <laughs> every time I look at it. I I don't Please know do how too. I'm going to use cherry wood yet. Cherry wood is something that I need to just, I need to get in creative and just start messing around with it. We might have to do a stream soon and just look at the new blocks because I don't really know at all how I want to use it yet. Okay, we need that. We need coarse dirt. We need regular dirt. Uh, Linero, thank you so much for the three months. Uh... I already got you on that one. Sky, thank you so much for the five months. Just finished work and it's 4.30 a.m. Ooh, go get some rest or hang out if you want to. I used to do the night shift and uh, a big thing for me, I was always like, I'm not going to bed as soon as I get back from work. I, I would always stay awake for like an hour, hour and a half. I'm almost out of scaffolding. Uh, let's pause this again. Go get some bamboo and make some more scaffolding. I think that'll give us a full stack. It's a weird hue. Yeah, cherry blossoms, like even the leaves, even the leaves are a little too bam. You know, There's, they're just like really just in your face. Sure, they look great. Oh, that's two stacks. Okay. One stack of scaffolding. One stack of bamboo will give you a stack of scaffolding. I'm just going to 
put you back in there. But like, coming around the corner here, just look how vibrant that is. Like, do you just see how much those leaves stand out? I wanted something more like a dollar pink. Like if we could get like the pink terracotta almost in place of this pink. I know this is realistic. Like that's the color of too. cherry blossoms IRL. Uh, and I, they're just too little, a little too much for me. A little too much. Use them to make pathways. What's your favorite wood? Spruce. Big time spruce wood fan. Uh, jungle recently, though. I've really enjoyed working with jungle. That's been a fun one. All right, so we're going to go with like a... Oh, <gasps> that's the spot. Yes, we can fix it. We do that. And then we can do a course dirt. Actually, that is going to be dirt, 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 dirt. We're going to have to go inside and get some more. I think this can also be a dirt. You transform an ancient city. Uh, maybe. I don't an ancient like I don't know. I feel like ancient cities are just kind of bleh. They're so big, and I I like the design of them. I think they're cool, but like, I don't know. Maybe one day we'll jump down there. I'm not gonna say no because who knows? It could happen. Uh oh, there's torture right there. Perfect. We're doing it here too, and we're doing it here just to keep it safe. Why is that a six wide? No, I think it is. Yeah, no, I definitely. Is this also six wide? This is five. Oh, no. No. Please tell me it's a five wide. Otherwise, we have to move everything over a block. It's kind of bleh. I'd like to. I would go to bed, but it takes me over an hour to get home. Oof. Okay, okay, what are we at? It's five, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> and five. Okay, so the other one, we actually got an extra block of building space. Perfect. City looks so good. I'm really happy with it. It's been really fun to work with. So the plan for this little bit here I want to connect it into this gatehouse, but we need to finish the gatehouse first. Uh, that might be that episode 40. We'll, do, we'll finish this on episode 40 and get the road down there. Get this. And then I want to work on like the market square there. Because that'd be a really cool view to have that all done. Like if you look at this, like that with the wall here is very just in your face right now. But eventually there's going to be buildings down here that are going to kind of blur that bottom straight line. Like I want to have the road coming through here. We're going to have that big gatehouse. But then there's probably going to be one building in front of it on this side. And then that side is going to be buildings all the way. And then we're going to have a dock section that's probably going to be there, if not another block above as like a big stone bulwark. Kind of that vibe, but just lower to the water level and coming out and we're going to have like enough space for buildings here like skinnier buildings probably like long ones uh there'll be another row for buildings there and then we'll have some dock side so i think that land back there is probably going to be opened up i'm debating on honestly i really want to turn this into like a vineyard originally but we already got a vineyard so i'm thinking we could maybe just like cut the land here and turn it into a lake that could be kind of cool giving yourself more space for the boats to move around. It'd be a big project to take out all of this, uh, but that could be kind of fun. Uh, but yeah, so that'd be really cool once this is all done. But anyways, that open space right there, we have the armory here, and then that's gonna be like a barracks. So 
So it's gonna be like a military looking barracks that'll be connected into the wall. And that's why I kind of left this weird space in here. So that whole section is gonna be for a barracks, which I think would be cool. I, I hope it works out. For the leaves, you could just retexture them. I don't like retexturing too many things in the game because that's kind of where things start looking weird to viewers. I, I know I could retexture them and it'd be totally fine. Like there probably won't be an issue, but it's one of those things where I try to not alienate any viewers. And I know already just being on bed on Java versus bedrock that it does that for some people, uh, just cause there's the little nuances in that, but I can't help that. Like that's, that's Minecraft. That's not me. Um, so I try to keep it a little bit easier. Lake would make the dock aesthetic much nicer. Yeah. It looked nicer. I, I, I'm kind of leaning towards that. And if we were to retexture the entire bottom of it, like that is disgusting. That flat in there. Oh. But if we were to retexture the entire lake, oh, that could actually be so fun. One day, one day we'll get in there. Been recently playing around with new whitewash textures lately. I've been liking the snow block a lot. The snow block's really cool, but it's uh, it's such a bluey tone compared to all the other whites, especially when you think about it in terms of quartz. But the thing that I will give the snowy block is the ability to work with snow layers, if you can, is so cool. Oh my gosh, snow layers are so fun to work nice with. To meet you. you can get so many cool slopes and shapes just working with snow layers. It's one of my favorite things. I wish that, like, I want more layer blocks to do stuff like that, but I also don't want more layer blocks because that'll take so long to do. Like, I'm already kind of dreading working with the cherry blossom petals little flower petals just because there's the amount of shapes you can create with them absurd i'll show y'all it's really cool austin thank you so much for coming to supporter and uh kai opal thank you so much for coming to tier two member join the discord if you're looking for a java minecraft server to play on my friend it's available for the tier two members and up boop boop and then we're just going to do like a very harsh one here. Actually, no, we're not. I just want to make sure we're not cutting to the same line. Yeah, we're okay. Cool, cool, cool. Neom. Oh, I was going to show pear cherry petals. Right. That's, that's what I want to do. I'm Zella. Welcome on in. Hope everything's going on with the... Hope, hope everything's going well with the family stuff, but no pressure at all. You have a, a good day. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah. When's the server updating? As soon as all of our mods get updated, we're going to update. We're also looking about uh, moving it to a new host. That'll just the same w person that we used to run. We used to run the Empire server. Uh, we're looking about moving the supporter server over there. It'll just be a better quality server. Um, so we're, we're looking into that. We haven't made any moves on it yet, but I'm highly considering it. Uh, Cherry Blossom Battles. Not here. Let's go find some. All right, that's gonna be... Actually, I'm just gonna stop that. I'm gonna start a new one. Oh, I forgot. Uh, da, 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 da. Sick. Okay. Uh, nighttime. That looks nice. I like that. That curve on the wall coming down. Yep. Feels good. Feels good. Oh, we forgot to check on the sniffers. It's been an hour. Oh, we probably lost so many seeds. Think of all of the sniffers we could have bred. Could add like six more eggs. How long do you plan on streaming today? Like two and a half hours. But now with the wall done, we do need to focus on music is cool. Yeah, we got good vibes here. I've been curating a playlist of good vibes only for a very long time. I think we have achieved good vibes only. You know what? I think I know where it is. 
We gotta sort those junk boxes. Ah, see, I told you exactly, knew exactly where it is. But yeah, uh, if you didn't know, on cherry blossom leaves, well, petal, pink petals, the thing will always start here. So if you do that, you can create a circle. You can create circles. You can also create like little, uh, let's see, what would that be? No. Oop. Maybe not that shape. Maybe we don't make that shape. Let's make this shape. We can make a little plus sign. So you can make little plus signs. Uh, the only one that is, so you can also do like this. You can create like an off-centered block, which is really cool. Um, no, nah, it's a square. It is a square, but it's a Minecraft circle. So you can create like an off-centered flower patch right in there. Look at that. Isn't that so cool? Cause like that's the block and you can just create that. Or you can do like a bam, bam and a bam, bam. So you can, you can have so many different varieties of off-centered blocks. If you really were to try messing around with them, you can do a heart. around the corners minecraft heart <laughs> i'm gonna have so many of these on the server yeah they're pretty cool you can also bone meal them to get more so for those who are worried about just destroying cherry blossom biomes um that same farm that i have for the uh glow lichen you can just do a simpler version of that here. So you can just bone meal and get more. You get so many. Yeah, so you can just do fun stuff like this with them. If they turned all Minecraft flowers to be like this, that 1.21 win. <laughs> it wins, okay? It just wins. No, it's too wide. Pleased to meet you. You do go through them fast because each little block that you fill out is four, so be aware of that. You rotate these flowers? Yeah, you can. It's based off where you where you're looking forward, it'll always go to the bottom right. Trying to find an open spot that could work for him. Let's land on the sausage balloon. Rip Mythical Sausage's last hardcore series, everybody. Can we get some Fs? Some Fs in the chat and some likes on the stream. I really want to redo that forest, by the way. Like, I want to do, like, a little custom oak forest right in here. Like, redo all of those. Like, bring some of those birch trees in over here. And then do some big like fluffy oak trees and maybe some more guys like that one just like a three or four different types of trees we got our little oak tree over there like some of those mixed in oh belfa thanks so much for the 17 months also uh brenna thanks so much for the six months uh hope you're doing well thank you so much i am i hope you're doing well as well uh, uh belfa uh, getting close to the next tree can't stick around i'll catch up with the vod later well you know what when you get here in the vod thank you <laughs> Okay, uh, let's just go and do a little bit like right over here. That should be fine. Pleased to meet you. We can also do a field out of pink petals. Eventually, not today, maybe the next video. If I can't get enough torch flower seeds. Yeah, we can do this. Boop.
We'll do that instead. You can make so many fun shapes. Can we make a creeper face? Why did I think that's a creeper face? <laughs> Why did I think that? You need you need a five wide. You can't do a full creeper face. You could probably do a larger scale scale one. <laughs> oh no 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 flip no no flip no no no. <laughs> there there buddy there there. Could write subscribe you could write subscribe we could also write like the stream i love these these are so fun oh my god i'm gonna get so distracted by these soon we're supposed to be organizing the shulker boxes we're supposed to be organizing the shulker boxes we're supposed to be organizing the shulker boxes we're supposed to organize the shulker boxes But flowers. Yay, flowers. Like these feel like little mountain flowers. Like this is like a perfect like springtime in the mountains. Just like going on a hike, you get above the tree line and you're just like, flowers are everywhere. Look at that. That's like a face. Wait, we got an ear. We got an ear. We made a bunny. You can make a bunny face. Wouldn't mind an entire stream of just this. <laughs> what shapes can we make with flowers? Okay, this is our... No, we have 10 left. Okay. We'll do a little boop, boop, boop. All right, that's all the pink petals. Now we can go into the sky. Yeah, they're kind of small, but I think that honestly... So we can see them really closely from up here, but if we go back down this way... You probably won't see them at all on the hill. <gasps> Wait, I love that. You only see them really from above because they're so short. You can barely see them here, but then you get closer or you go higher up and you get even more detail. Oh, I love that. That's so fun. I'm in love. I robbed each. Okay. We can't put it off any longer. Let's start organizing shulker boxes. Also, we should definitely get to 2,000 likes. We're so close. I believe in 2,000 likes. 2,000 like gang. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta clean their shulker boxes. I oh, no, you don't go in there. Bruce. I get, ooh. Bookshelves go over here. Uh, we need a. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm actually gonna put this up here to symbolize mangrove being there. I could put a hanging sign on top, I guess. We need a bamboo section here. I just don't really have one yet. Maybe I'll probably just keep all the bamboo over at the bamboo farm. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. Okay. Uh. I also don't have a mushroom stem location. Are you using level one? I use level one rockets, yeah. Level three rockets, I find are more dangerous, especially in close quarters because the boost lasts so long and it also doesn't give you any more speed. The boost just lasts longer. So if you are good at timing your rockets so that they keep going, 
uh so as soon as it like the little particles disappear you click another one you're just gonna you're you'll be spending the same number of rockets the same amount of gunpowder you're spending more paper but you might go through your rockets a little faster i do always carry a shulker of rockets on me and i also do that a lot so it would be annoying to lose them all the time uh let's go check the sniffers for a distraction any seeds any seeds oh we got a pitcher pod any torch flower boyos oh my god the insides of a sniffer anything i'm missing another pitcher pod honestly the first field might be a pitcher pod field it's just the way it's going we got eight and we have one torch flower they're kind of scary they are a little spooky we love them okay let's get everything stone related out of here and if we find any ores we'll just bring them in there manually for now but let's just start picking up shulkers that have stone goods in them um well at least majority stone and we'll just take it down to the quarry actually that one can we'll bring that with us yeah because you can go yeah most of that'll go actually will it what was in that one yeah most of that'll go down there uh da -da 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 -da. we'll take that that's all that's in there Right, so we'll just put them all in here and bring this one hey, with Mario. us. Damn it, like the pitcher pods or torch flowers more? I have yet to see either of them grown up because I'm so concentrated on getting <laughs> enough sniffers to get a decent amount of them. So I don't even know. <laughs> Actually, I've seen the pitcher pod grown up. We have like two grown up down there. And they look cool. They're not my favorite. I think the torch flower is going to be my favorite. The pitcher pod is just a little in your face, which is not my favorite, but it's not bad. It's just kind of really bright. So I, I think I'm assuming it's going to be torch flower, but I'm also willing to eat my words on that one if I really start enjoying the pitcher pod. Because we have the pitcher pod grown down here, and I don't think I planted a torch flower yet. Any more seeds? Boyos? Boyos? No, nope, that's the wrong thing. Boyos! <gasps> Seed! Petropod. Any other little seeds? <gasps> Live! Live seed digging! Yes, we can breed another! <laughs> Sorry. They kind of sound like Wookiees. They sound like a mix between a Wookiee... Like a higher-pitched Wookiee. So... I really like the pitcher pod at like that stage. I think that stage is really cool. This one here is just a little too big. And also I don't like the one it's a crop that it has that. I do enjoy that it differentiates between a crop and a flower. That's cool. Yeah, Wookiee and a goat. That's a, that's a good way to think about it. A Wookiee and a goat. Hey, Fazio, that is awesome i'm glad you used them i i was talking to them a little while ago and they said like i think nine or ten people have ordered pcs through them now which is very cool but thanks so much for the dono and hope you enjoy the new pc my friend yeah seattle built pcs they're absolutely amazing they're really really cool good people over there good vibes okay who wants to poop a little leg out hey, for real. thank you for the seattle built pc partnership I was able to save with your creator code. Thank you for letting me know you used it. That's awesome. Again, hope you enjoy the new PC. That is, that's so good. I think I might be doing another upgrade to mine. <laughs> As since we've been playing modded Minecraft, it was not an issue at all before. And this really should not be an issue. This is a me being me thing. But... If I have to AFK on the server, like on New Life right now, to um, I was talking about it before stream on Monday, where I I crashed my PC before stream started because uh, I was playing 
World of Warcraft. No, I was playing. I was trying to play Diablo 4, and then stream then stream started, <laughs> and then I, so I had Streamlabs open, I had Diablo open, and then I also had a modded Minecraft instance open, and I had and then I also had like 10 Chrome tabs, like too much, way too much. I overloaded the memory on my computer, and just everything crashed. So I had like 20 gigs of memory trying to be utilized, and I have 16 gigs in my machine. So I think I'm gonna give myself a little summer. <laughs> early birthday present and uh get a make sure we're gonna put these over here get some more ram on my computer i gotta download more wham i think it's that's where i'm getting at no that's assault uh da -da -da -da. drip stone drip stone i really want a drip stone farm i'm just gonna throw that into out in the world Surprised you haven't made it auto. I don't really care enough to make an auto storage. I like to put multiple things in into a one. So I know there's like ways you can do it where it will have like full storage capabilities and like multiple blocks per thing. But I just, I'm lazy. That's really the big part of it. I also don't mind this. Do I do it all that often? No. Do I want to do it all that often? Also, no. But you also can't have this shape of a storage room with auto. You'd have to have like a big wall and I just, I like this. I also like having multiple storage rooms. And if they're all individually automated, eh. I kind of picked up on it from B-dubs a long time ago when he was, I think it was like two Hermitcraft seasons ago. He was like, yeah, so every single building I make is gonna be a different storage room for like that specific good or whatever, like theme of goods, like logs and everything like that. And I kind of thought, I heard that and thought about it. I was like, that's more or less what I end up doing. Like I build the buildings to show the things and I don't put the resources in them. So then I don't explore around my world because I just go into my one storage room and then I leave. And so I was kind of like, I'm gonna really start doing that like i i want it i'm gonna start building buildings that are gonna have a purpose to go into all right we're running low on cobble i only have like 10 double chests <gasps> so kudos to b-dubs for that idea it really i like it because i see my world instead of just seeing the project i'm working on i see I see so much more of the world. It might take a little bit longer to go around and check all the storage rooms for the different things, but I I prefer it. I, I to me it makes me enjoy the world more, and that's the that's gonna make me want to play in the world longer. And that's that's the important part. Um, uh, Giuseppe, I think. Thank you so much for the dono. I really appreciate that. And Riles, thank you so much for the dono. But Riles isn't here, everybody. Are you a watch guy? I want to be a smartwatch person. I really want to. I love the idea of a smartwatch. And then I wear a watch and I'm like, I am hitting everything. <laughs> I feel like I'm just like one of those people that at the edge of a desk or something is constantly just like, bam, bam, bam. Just like it just rubbing and catching. I'm just like, ah. <laughs> and also being a lefty, I like to wear a watch on my right hand, uh, which then turns into that's my mouse hand and so that i'm clipping the mouse all the time when i'm trying to um we've got a little bit of stone all of these are full that's 16 17 double chests of stone almost 18. um uh, yeah so i i would love to be a watch person but i just i don't think i have it in me maybe one day when i retire from the computers <coughs> excuse me sorry I don't think that day will come anytime soon. I'm trying to find all the different stones in here. That's, there's so much gravel and everything. <laughs> Ooh, that's gonna be a good one. I too am a lefty. Being a lefty just means you're more creative. Well, not not necessarily true, but lefties typically are. A little bit more on the creative side because that side of your brain gets used more uh, da, 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 da. 
I did. And that's what. Oh, that's Blackstone. And then we'll get all of that. Ooh, Mossy Cobble. Look at that. Actually putting some Mossy Cobble back in the storage instead of having to make it and take it somewhere. I'm ambidextrous. Nice. I kind of. I am when it comes to sports, but when it comes to anything else, I'm not. But I think that's mostly just because I trained for that. Because I, I was a big water polo player, and being a lefty gave a huge advantage, but then also being able to throw with both hands gave a really big advantage. So I kind of taught myself how to throw and pass and like shoot and everything left and right handed. And then that passed over into like a lot of other sports, so or a lot of other aspects, which was cool. I'm definitely lefty and dominant though. Like 100% prefer to use that. I think that's all the stone. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Nope. And empty. We did it. We emptied a box. This is the wrong row. Got his right handed and throws left. Ooh. Yeah, I'm left handed, but when I did anything like snowboarding or whatever, I rode uh, like whatever the right right way would go. I always rode, I le rode left foot forward, which is apparently what you're supposed to do if you're right handed. They get drilled with both feet for soccer now. Yeah, I mean, it's good. It's if you can practice it earlier it's and you can actually do it, it's going to give you a huge advantage in sports, so. In the youth sports era when everybody's like, if you just keep playing, you'll get a college scholarship. It'll be amazing. And all of the little us at 12 and 13 are like, yeah, I am going to be a professional sports player. Yeah. And then you absolutely destroy your body in high school trying to play sports to be able to get that college scholarship. <laughs> and then you don't get it. And then you're just like, oh, no, no, I'm just going to be in pain for the rest of my life. Yep. Cool. Like all those sports injuries that your coach was like, just play through it. You'll be fine. And you're like, yeah, I will play through it. You're right, coach. Nah. Pleased to meet you. Oh, uh, Glasgow's here. Mossy carpets. Actually, you could go to here. Stick. Are you going to build a sniffer farm in the future? Yeah, that's why I'm kind of saving up all the sniffer eggs. USA moment. <laughs> the amount that Sid and I talking about that is like way too high. <laughs> just, I I was a huge swimmer and then I got into water polo. So I was just I, like swimming for me for a good while. Like I was in the pool for more than 20 hours a week for like a good while. And that's a very common thing with swimmers who are like swimming at that higher level is you're just in the pool constantly. I know talking to Scar a few times about it, he was doing the exact same thing when he was swimming back in the day. Um, and then Sid, she was a huge soccer player, and so uh, she was basically doing the, the equivalent on the soccer side, and it's, it's so interesting. Did cheerleading for six years and got three concussions in that time, two in one year. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't have a dirt storage yet, do I? No. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> of course I have a dirt storage. <laughs> Ignore me. Uh, let's just take, let's do wood. Leaves we don't have. Uh, let's do wood. There's wood. That can stay here. We'll put that in the main building. We don't have a place for cherry or bamboo. That's a problem. We're gonna we might need we're gonna need to figure out some way to expand the wood storage. There's a little bit in there. It's just that though, so we'll just take those. You can definitely come back. And those are both skulk. There's some wood in here. We'll take the box. Oh, there's also stones in there I missed. We'll take that. We'll take that. 
Hi from India. Hello, how are you doing? Welcome on in. Do you like volleyball? I've never played volleyball, uh, but it seems like a cool sport. I don't know why I put that on there. I just wanted to edit the sign because I could. Warped. Warp, warp. Oh, there's another oak. Please be nice to the moderators, by the way. They help very much with creating it, the wonderful community we have here. So please be nice to them. And if you don't want to be nice to them, maybe you aren't supposed to be in this community. But that's up to you. We just are going to say that. And then we're going to ask people to be nice. And if you don't want to be nice, well, really, you made that choice. That's not us. So you're the, you're the one who chose to leave. Just to throw that out there. So please be nice to the moderators. Okay. Uh, I think what we can do, because I'm not utilizing these at all. Oh, I am already. Would you look at that? Okay. Ooh. Don't look under my build. Not going to be an auto sorted, but it'll be a something. We'll just smash all of them in here. Block a stripped bamboo. Yeah, whatever. That's fine. I like that color more anyways. Any other wood in there? Yep. Trappy doors. How many days in this world? We're almost at 4,200. We get in there. We are getting up there. It's at this point where I'm just like not even paying attention to the day count. I'm just letting it do its thing. Love your video. Say hi to me. Hi. Hello. Howdy doody. Also, the auto filter thing I put back here, completely broken. I We're going to have to come back on a stream one day and just take it out. I want all those hoppers back. <laughs> and also, it'll help get rid of a little leg if we do remove them. So, we got to do it. By the way, one thing I want to start trying more is putting um, more what's the word glass in the builds i've been seeing people using glass panes as a way to like smooth curves when using like a glass pane into like a fence then a wall and, and like oh i love it and i really want to try messing around with it more it's oak does a birch 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 mangrove doro acacia doors and warped and then this goes here we love the mod sass. Yeah. I like to say they take after me. Okay. We're making progress. Progress. Feels really nice to have acacia logs in here instead of only acacia wood. I feel so bad every time I turn in acacia wood or just a wood block in general. If you turn that into planks, I'm just like, huh. Goodbye, log. Do I have so many logs it doesn't even matter? Yes, but I still feel bad. Pleased to meet you. Oh my gosh, I missed so many. Actually, I missed two. Uh, Aries Centauri, thanks so much for the eight months. Love the new armor trim, so it almost feels like there's too many options. I can't pick a favorite. There's a website called... Uh, Mindtrim.com. I will show. Behold, mindtrim.com. It's a little buggy, so you sometimes got to go through and select the different ones. For a while, I had a netherite coloring, but it was a the texture of the chainmail helm. Um, but you can go through here. It's amazing. You can also show and hide different sections. You can see what it looks like if you got your elytra on. And then you can go through and just see what all of the different trims look like. So you can be the super generic silence boyo and do full silence. And then you can also be the super generic silence boyo 
and do full diamond and then you can look like everybody else or you could do something unique and do something fun well here's mine actually here's tied tied and then i believe it's shaper and shaper or razor isn't it what is it post oh spire on the legs that's what it was spire post that's that's mine and then i just did amethyst so you can go through here and you can mess around with them and this is the easiest way to see all of them like that's my trim right there that's what i like i think it's really cool um but Paper what i was really close to doing a soccer player and have so many injuries but still play because i really enjoy it i really wanted Love copper but it was a little a little too much Mallow, thank you so much for the dono. I really do appreciate that. Yeah, I get that. I I would love to be in the pool still playing. We j I just, I would love to get back into swimming and everything like that. It's just <laughs> to find time where there's actually like public swimming or like, uh, I guess I'm old enough now to qualify for the master's teams, which is uh, old. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I would absolutely love to get back into it. That's great that you're still doing it. Have you tried rock climbing? I do not. <laughs> I my body is not built for that <laughs> I'm a water person I, I do great in the water um yeah so this was one I was thinking I was really close with going with the blue but the blue is a little too dark I wanted the pop on the lapis but I also didn't want to do the pop that everybody else is doing of like the super bright emerald like this was a really close one for me also gold was really close like that was that was definitely an option but i feel like most people are doing gold or diamond so i wanted to purposely do something different i'm a college swimmer master starts at 18 years old yeah yeah i almost i almost did that if i i had a sports injury that made me that moved over to water polo because i couldn't um water polo being more time is spent this way in the water than swimming is all spent that way and so it really made I had a really bad back injury and being just vertical instead of horizontal the whole time actually helped get over the back injury so well not get over it but made it manageable <laughs> one day i'll get back into swimming just to this year is probably not that day <laughs> i think i'll do rainbow start with red up top yellow for chest green for pants blue or purple for shoes i love that do it 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 all right we're just gonna start combining boxes pleased to meet you and we'll get all of those things sorted later i just want to eliminate empty boxes so i stop opening them We might not be perfect today, but if we can get most of the boxes gone, I'm going to call that a success. I really need to get more storage rooms built out. Maybe that's a goal that I'll have for the next city expansion. Is we actually add a new storage room. I need one for like random things. So maybe like a market because we need we need one for concrete powders, I think. And uh, wool, I need to take back to the sheep farm. Because that actually tells me how much I have. Uh, but one day. Adol, thank you so much for the five months. Congrats on getting all the armor tones up and keep up the good work on all your MC content. Hey, I really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hope you're doing well today, my friend. We'll leave the... Oh, that can come out. Uh... uh, uh. Do I want to leave the chests here? Let me see how much space I have in my inner chest. I like to I like to keep some chests on me. Do I have any in here? Oh, we got 39, so we can put most in there. Uh, we'll put them all. Well, I'll definitely use those to decorate soon. That's fine. That just needs to go back to the house. We'll take the wool down fly back up pick up everything and then go have you ever taught or played rl craft nah i don't really have interest in rl craft i watched a few people 
do it a long time ago and it just i just didn't think it was interesting it like it's cool it's one of those things that i think is cool to watch people play but it doesn't seem like something i would really enjoy playing if that makes sense which i'm realizing more so recently in life is a lot of video games there's a lot of games that i prefer to just watch people play instead of play myself like i love absolutely love watching people play strategy games i still play myself i just don't enjoy playing like the player versus player side of it but if i can like watch a, a tournament like a starcraft or an age of empires tournament i am so there for it oh love it every year i don't know if it's happening still but when blizzcon used um would go on they'd have the big starcraft world championships i was like in my seat popcorn like on the tv just watching and just like enjoying the end i had so much fun watching those there i it's one of my favorite things but yeah i just i'm <laughs> honestly it's the fact that i'm not as good at it anymore as i used to be that i just get frustrated and i'm just not interested in like seeing if i can train my brain to be that efficient in a strategy game anymore age of empires 4 is so good yeah i had fun with that and then i i just i kind of fell off after the second season i think I just kind of stopped playing it was fun when i was doing it though Many empties we got one empty two empty oh this feels good that feels good to be getting those things out here okay let's see what dirts we have here all the nether stuff oh the carpet should i don't know where we're gonna put the carpet um the nether bricks should go down into the quarry maybe i move the mm -hmm. i have a I have a whole section here dedicated to wither roses nope but we're about to this can be with the roses again because the problem right now that i have is this is all my netherrack and that's also my netherrack and i really should move it down to the quarry so that'll be a task after we get everything else sorted we're going to move that down to the quarry to that back row just to have it there and then we can carry on yeah that'll be that'll be it that'd be a good way to do it because that'll get it out of the house and into somewhere there uh, where i'll actually pay attention to it instead of it just being in a random barrel a barrel that i know it's there i just want to point that out i knew exactly which barrel that was in so can't get mad at me for that one <laughs> If you like strategy games you should watch league of legends league of legends isn't a strategy game league of legends is a moba very different strategy game as in like you have your base you have to build all your structures you gotta like mid max and do all that stuff and blah blah blah, 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 blah. like that that is the type of strategy game that i really enjoy is where you're just like frantically managing armies across the entire map like starcraft 2 back in the day like original like wings of liberty and then also the first expansion i was all over that i was in like upper master leagues just like playing like crazy it was get home get homework done finish whatever sports practice was there and just run the 1v1 ladders for like two or three hours and then go to bed <laughs> probably not great for like sleeping <laughs> i didn't sleep that much i was just playing starcraft but i had a lot of fun <laughs> League I've tried, could not get into. League of Legends, never been a game for me. I get it. If you enjoy it, that's great for you. I want to tear my eyeballs out when I'm playing League of Legends. But that's just a me thing, you know? If you enjoy it, have fun. <laughs> okay, where's my leaf? Do I have a mangrove leaf box? I don't think I do. I do, but it's full. We will need another box. This box goes in here. Look at me having organized leaf boxes. Do I have a birch leaf box? 
you have space, so you can now have birch leaf. Do you like rats as of like the animal? Not so much. <laughs> Isn't StarCraft an RTS? Yeah, it is. A strategy game, RTS game. I, I kind of think of it the same. Uh, da, 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 da. We need to take that over to dirt storage. Oh, you can come out here and go into the copper bar barrel. Designated copper barrel. I do just want to clarify. Designated copper barrel. This is designated random junk barrel. Wife stream would be great. I know. I owe y'all one. I've been bad about that. Maybe this summer. We'll make it happen. Liz, don't clip, clip that. I need a place for my skulk. I've got a lot of skulk now. There's space in here? I do not. The skulk farm is great, and I have yet to figure out how to use any of it in a build. I just know I want to, but I have not. You have 28 pet rats. Cool. My uh, cousins growing up had pet rats, and those were chill. If you're talking about like a wild rat, I'm like, nah. But pet rats, I feel like, are a different, different thing. It's a lot of rats. It is a lot of rats. Knew I had one out here for rails. Always got to have a good rail box. I feel like I'm in endgame Minecraft when I have a box of rails and I don't need to worry about making more rails. That's when I know I've made it. This is peak Minecraft. <laughs> I have more cats than your rats. Do you have more than 28 cats? Did you pick the crazy cat person lifestyle or did the crazy cat person lifestyle pick you? Because sometimes I think it picks people. But other times, I think people pick that. It's fine either way. Like, do what you want to do. But like, it's a lot of animals. Regardless, having more than 20 of any animal is a lot of animals. Even guppies, even little guppy fish. Having more than 20 guppies, it's a lot of fish to take care of. Oh, I changed the golden apples, nice. Oh, we have six now, that's kind of cool. You in there. Actually, that's a that's one of my carry boxes. Whoop. That's my die box. Yes. I have an amethyst. Some up there. Perfect. It tells Liz not to clip it. Eggs and I will clip it. <laughs> I knew somebody would. Am I saving flint and steel with 30 durability on it? You bet. Ooh, coal ore. Coal. I have so many ores. I love it. It's so good. Where do I put my froggy lights? I think the froggy lights go in here. They go in one of these. Oh, they go down there. Wow. Where's that shulker of mushrooms? Where's my shulker of shrooms? I probably put it down somewhere. Where do I have it? Where'd my shulker of shrooms go? Put it in there. Did I put it back out here? I did. Shrooms. Get in there, chat. Slowly but surely, we are moving forwards. I 
could be bad out of context. That's fine. We're all mature adults here, right? No. No, I can't even make that complaint. Statement, whatever you want to call it. Mature? No, never. Don't be silly. Or be silly. Adult, yes. Mature, no. Yeah, that's a... I think that's the proper way to live life. If you can't laugh at yourself or just at things happening, you gotta chill. You gotta chill. Let's check the sniffers. I've been forgetting. I see seeds. <gasps> we got two. Hey, Frig. They're so fun to hang out around. We got another. Oh, he got pushed. You pushed him off the thing he was going to sniff. Rude. We already had that pitcher pod. Oh, buddy, I'm sorry you didn't get a sniff. They sound like a strange donkey. Yeah. Infers are a good addition. They're like, it's, it's one of those things where I'm like, never, ever could have told you that I wanted one of these in the game. Never knew I wanted a semi truck in Minecraft, but here we are. That is also a live, very, very important part of the, the semi truck in Minecraft. We now have seven semi truck eggs. Yeah, we need, we're going to make a bigger sniffer field. That's also going to be flat so I can run a minecart hopper underneath it. Where do I, I think I have some furnaces in here. Yeah, I do. I use furnaces a lot instead of obsidian for uh, redstone-y contraptions or like flying slime block thingies um, just because they look a little cleaner. Okay, we're a little full in here. We are a wee bit full in this shulker in the double chest box. Oh, there's only coral. <laughs> coral? That kills people. Almost got a chest of shulkers. We're getting close. Ooh, there's another. Woo, look at that. Wow. Usually when this thing gets all the way empty, I'm just like, ooh, we've done some cleanup. And routes can also go in there. That's fine. Look at this. Y'all were like, tell me I'm never going to clean up my base. All it takes is an hour on a live stream. I'm glad at least a few people got that throw very very throwback reference. Super happy to catch you streaming. Welcome on in. We chilling today. The good old YouTube that and the how animals eat their food video. Sid and I was I and I were talking about that yesterday. If you haven't watched the classic How Animals Eat Their Food video, you have homework from Quip. From yours truly, I'm assigning homework if you have not seen that video. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> it's a classic. I forgot about that video. <laughs> we just randomly were talking about it. Let's get with the guy showing how they eat. Yeah. 
The alligator one is definitely a favorite. Forgot to put the granite back. Has the crashing issue been fixed? Yes, but at the expense of frames on the stream. I'm going to see if I can work with YouTube and see if we have another option. Because their fix was for me to change my stream to 30 FPS. Where I had it at 50 FPS before. Unfortunately, it did fix it. Which good that it's fixed, but also annoying that we... I need to test how well my PC can handle a 60 FPS stream. Because I would love to do that. If possible. We're going to put the clay up there too. I don't think I have a space for it. Okay, let's do one last look up for wood items. There's more rails in here that can go into the other rail box. That can go in the leaf, leaf box. These are all wood. We'll come back for those after. Oh, there's my... When did my bow end up in here? How long have I been running on, around without my bow? Okay, we're going to put empty... Leaf, leaf. That's all full of empties. We are making so much progress. I need to put this somewhere where I'm going to use it. So I'm going to put... I really should put it in my ender chest. But for now, it's going to go there. Sword better be named Whiplash. Uh, actually, it's named a very unique one of Netherite Sword. I've done a great job naming my tools in this season. I've just been trying to come up with something clever, and I never have. And now I feel like the anticipation of finding something clever to put as a name for the tools is so high that I just like can't decide. You doing anything for 1.5 mil subs? Um. Nothing that I know of. Maybe something late in the summer. I do at one point. Don't hold me to this. But I'm playing with the idea of doing like a live stream week at some point. Just for something different. Where we basically just live stream the entire week. I think it could be fun. But I also think it will be very draining. And... I won't be able to record any videos during that time frame. <laughs> so in order to do that, I kind of need to like mentally get ahead on videos to do it. And then we do like live streams Monday through Friday. I forgot the doors. I need to come up with clever names for my tools that also symbolize being silk touch or not silk touch is the thing. English only in the chat, please, my friends. English only in the chat. Help us keep it a wonderful, safe space for everybody to experience. And the only way we can do that is if we can read your messages. Otherwise, we have to assume you're not saying kind things, so we have to remove them. Yeah, I thought a hardcore live stream week could be really fun. And we'd just, like, basically get, like, 200 days worth of Minecraft in in the week, all streamed, and just do stuff. But the thing that's holding me back from that, honestly, is if we have to stream on YouTube at 30 FPS, I can't record any of that because it looks really bad in comparison to actual recorded footage. So all of it would be dead. Or I'd have to be like a time lapse. And that does not sound great for content. Big time lapse, bad content. Time lapse mixed in with other form of content, good content. We're definitely going to need a box to put that in. Maybe? <gasps> Yay! It fit. If it fits, it sits.
You can go in there. Last warning, English only in the chat. Moving forwards, mods if you see it, just time them out instantly. No more playing games on that one. Also, why would you send messages in a chat that has the rule of being English only for a streamer, just a creator in general, who only ever records footage in English? So like the assumption probably is that I can only speak English. I just, I don't, I don't get it. Actually, you can go and like, there's no way I'm going to be able to read your message. Like I'm not, I'm not smart. I just, I only, only English. Uh, we're going to just throw those in there. It's fine. Make an auto storage room. Why? I could still live out of my starter house after 4,000 days. People said this base was a mega base for being a starter house, so I'm still just living out of it 4,000 days later to prove a point. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm not that bitter. No, this storage here plus shulker boxes, to me, more than I ever need. If I need have so many items that I cannot physically fit them into this storage room, or the other storage rooms that I've created, I need to build something. It's basically a timer for me. Every single time this is like super filled up to the brim and like overflowing, I'm like, all right, what materials do I have in there and how can I use them? Just throw that there. Make a giant aquarium. I really do want to do that and get a blue axolotl. I know blue axolotls are old news. Like who? Ugh axolotls but that's like seven thing thousand years ago but i'm also like they're kind of cool i like axolotls so i i've had a goal since it came out that i'm gonna get a blue axolotl in this world i've just never really jumped on it but i really want to like really want to how much wool is in here just that okay we have so much light gray concrete powder because i use so much of it we're gonna do this, gonna do this, take all that, bam, bam, shambalam. The wool can also go in there. The sand, sure, I'm lazy. I have an axolotl. <laughs> Axolotls will never go out of style, true. Went to the San Diego Zoo recently. They have one to see. Ooh. I'm assuming you meant zoo and just didn't type it. I kind of filled that in for you. I'm sorry if you didn't mean zoo, but I just kind of assumed that you meant zoo because. Yeah. No, we'll get that one in a second. That all needs to go somewhere. I don't really know where to put all the carpets. Realistically, probably not going to use many of those carpets, but I should still give them a home. Okay, there's some waxed, there's some waxed. And I think that's all of the kappa. There's a marine box in here. Can I boom, boom, boom? And also is our terracotta box, weirdly enough. So those can go in there. And then all of these go down into the quarry. I'm going to put the buckets back. Rare mob zoo might be cool. I really want to get brown mushrooms. I I like I, I really think getting some brown mushrooms would be fun. The only reason I haven't done it is you have to bring mushrooms back from who is what you gonna call it? Uh the mushroom island. And the closest mushroom island that actually we found one actually on stream last time, but that was really far north. That was like twenty thousand blocks. So we'd have to dedicate an entire stream to bringing home mushrooms. Are we down? Is that a dumb idea or is that a let's do it idea? What do we think? Bring home mushrooms or don't bring home mushrooms? Yes or no? Let me know in chat. 
Because I think if we get mushrooms and then we can lightning strike them, turn them into brown mushrooms, would be pretty cool. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Bring him home. Mm -hmm. Nether railroad to transport him. Yeah, we could do that. Saving private mushroom. <laughs> Hopefully with a lot less war being involved. Axolotls are quite rare and critically endangered species, so if you want a pet... Get a simple fishy. Oh, IRL. I was like in Minecraft. What? Yeah. But also a lot of fish that are in like fish tanks and like pet stores and whatnot, they're not treated that well either. Oh, we're trying to figure out a place for the carpet. Let's go in here. Get all of our terracottas out. That's all of them. Yeah. Just throw them in the random terracotta box. Look how clean that is. We'll put the carpet in there. <laughs> we trying to get mob heads from charge creepers. That is something that I just have never, I think, ever done. Maybe once. Maybe once back in the building with whip days. But I could not tell you the last time I even attempted it. Could be kind of fun, though. Would be a fun challenge. All right, we need to go make some more rockets after this. But we're almost done. We're down to one box. Which is empty. Woo! Thank you for dealing with me cleaning all this stuff out because I would have never have done it. Where do I not have... I don't have any rock pots. I normally keep like a stack of those in here. Must be the other one. No, we're all out. Okay, let's put some back. Oh, beehives. Yeah. I made a stack of them a while ago just because I have so much honeycomb. I was like, yes. This, this is a good idea. What's in there? All my quartz, right. Ocean Monument. Oh, that feels good. <laughs> Wait, there's that one. Ah, now it feels great. Kind of organized, kind of. We def. I de I need to do like a Ender Chest re overhaul. Shulker Monster is gone until next episode. We did it. We. I just got to check down here make sure I actually clean them all up before we celebrate too much, you know? Also, I found something I want to change. This being a harsh line right here, do not like. Much better. A few, give it a few days and it'll be back. Oh, yeah. By the end of next episode, for sure. I really need to cover these. Oh, my gosh. I forgot. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> no need to panic. Uh, there's something that I really meant to do on stream today that we have not done. <laughs> you know that sweet berry farm that we made a few episodes back? just to get like a few sweet berries to work with and decorate with more easily and everything like that we're making a circle of sweet berries um and i need soul sand i think it's yellow glass i also need a sign i have a sign what a surprise <laughs> it's producing sweet berries too fast and now that it's filled up, it's like just infinitely causing more sweet berries to appear. <laughs> They're just not despawning because they keep stacking. It's white glass. I can't. I can't mix. I can't. You can't mix glass types. If you if you decide to have one being a clean glass type, you gotta go and stick with that. We have to go get white. I 
Oh, so near the block of ice. a blue ice for this. Those are precious. Can't wait for an angry field to use up those extra berries. So you say use up those extra berries like we don't already have eight barrels full of sweet berries. <laughs> I think we got enough berries to last me forever. <laughs> I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to work through that many. This is going to be our packed ice. See? They just keep coming. We're going to... I need flint and steel. Much better. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I made that into a much bigger deal than it needed to be. But I definitely like wrote a note on my this morning of like, when streaming, fix this. And we're two hours in and I completely forgot about it. So yeah, that's gotta be fixed. I also added a the a lantern here in the middle because even the glow lichen wasn't enough. So now we yeah, like the whole thing is just like three foxes in there they can't even harvest it fast enough and even with the rate that they're harvesting i can't even store them fast enough i did put a random pot here though and i kind of like it even though it kind of blocks the entrance but i do also kind of like it it's pretty cool make a flying meteor about to destroy a building i don't know if that's really the vibe that we go for in this world but you could do that that sounds pretty cool I should flip solution to problem. Yeah, fire ticks off in this world. What else did I write down? Add item to store at a berry farm. Done. Spruce trap doors on top. <gasps> we need to use more spruce wood. Specifically, spruce trap doors. Remember to make those rockets? Yeah, 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 we'll get rockets. I also need to make a new bow soon, but I think I'm going to do that in the video. This way I can farm even more mending bow commenters. We love farming the comments with Mending Bow users. They get so angry so easily. Oh, it's great. They just love being wrong, but they have to keep it up. It's perfect. Actually, I think we want some slabs too. Do a sniffer house stable and a place for them to and plant a torch field on site. Yeah, we're going to do a big sniffer stable thing. Or sn sniffer pasture soon. What was the secret plan from last stream? I can't remember. Yeah, we needed to do that. And I think I can walk around the back here. I really do like this gatehouse design. I'm really happy with it. Sometimes I build things and I look back at them a month or two later and I'm like, I built that. But this one. Oh, I was putting stone pressure plates on the top. We must do this. Quickly now. Did you know this jungle tree I'm sleeping on right now? 3,900 days old. This tree. Planted and grown before, honestly, even probably pretty old, older. Yeah, look at him. Wait, that arrow went through you. Okay, so the animation pack I use, love it. It's so cool. I think it just adds a lot more life to the world. But also, sometimes their hitboxes are not clear to where their animation is. So it can be a little wonk. Uh, we're not going to find stone in here, are we? Oh, we are. <laughs> wow. I think I already probably have a bunch of pressure plates, but it's fine. Am 
I bet most people would think using pick block is also cheating. Shan, you have no idea. <laughs> there was a comment on my on the last live stream of somebody being like, it's pretty sus, isn't it? How Flip is looking and just suddenly another stack of dirt appears in his invent in his hand when he's building. He uses a full stack and suddenly there's another stack there. Isn't that a little bit sus? And I'm like, I didn't respond, but I was thinking, I was like, buddy, I am alive. You think I'm gonna cheat like that while well live? <laughs> also, you can see me if you watch the whole stream going around and picking up everything. <laughs> I was like, you're just fishing for something to be mad at now. I was like, this is just one of those people on the internet that is just mad somebody else is successful. Like, you probably are a very happy person deep down. Any advice for terraforming or big projects? Um, it, you just really got to tackle it one little stage at a time getting a rough idea in, drawing it out on paper, or just like on like, if you have a tablet to draw on is huge. That's how I kind of do it to get a rough idea in. And then I kind of figure out, at least like in the mountain over here, I figured out how I wanted the curves to go and kind of everything before I even started building. So I kind of planned it from this angle here. So I had figured out that I was like, I want this to come down and then I wanted to like have a little like bump in there. Then I wanted to go back up really tall for the highest peak and then kind of come down and do another. So we get like the three peaks effect. And then it kind of had that all those fun angles in there breaking it up along the way. Look into how to create like a composition. If you're trying to do like mountain terraforming, look at like 2D like paintings of like how to create a cool composition for like the rule of thirds. Um, the golden ratio, all that type of stuff. If you can do that, that'll help you out a ton. I like how I made two stacks of these and I didn't even use half a stack. I think I missed a section though. We gotta go get a few more. But first, let's go get our sugar cane. You never, you did not forget to put no, no rock in it. Nope, this is where the seeds are. I see one. Nail it. <gasps> no, pitcher pod. That was a big sniff. Somebody about to find a seed? These guys just, they just live such happy little lives. They just walk around sniffing. They just go sniff, sniff, sniff. Honestly, the, the life my dogs would love to have. Sniff, sniff, sniff until you find something that smells good and dig and get it out of the ground. Coda would love that life. He actually already pretty much lives it, but you know. No, I don't really want him to. Like ancient doggos. They really do have dog characteristics to them. Like with how their flappy ears move and everything like that. Very much like... The ears are giving like Vishla vibes. That sounds like a typical husky. Yep. Coda is pretty consistent on all that. Ooh, we do have two. Okay, we can go get another. One more sniff our egg. But first, I must fix this upper section as well. Ooh, I also forgot these. Would you all lucky here? Boop, 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 boop. Oh, I never made an entrance to this. Eh, we're going to ignore that. That kind of helps to mob proof this area too. I know it's not perfect, but it's better. Now we get the sniff sniff. Forgot the netherrack in the quarry. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, we'll move that. Let's go make rockets first, then we'll move the netherrack. Coming in. Torch flower seed delivery. <gasps> Another one. Anybody else got a torch there? Torch rock? And torch rock? And I got a torch rock? And torch rock over here? Anybody want to give me a torch rock? No? No? Okay, that's fine. Hmm. The semi trucks are meeting. We now have a new semi truck. As a fish lay on the table in your house, I have a data pack that allows me to shear item frames and it turns them invisible. 
pretty cool. You think you'll do a revisiting video where you do any unfinished terraforming projects and adding in more? I really do want to. Like, if we do that stream week, that's going to be kind of all like revisiting and updating old things. Like, I would love to finish this. This, I will do this. I promise this will not be one of those projects that's left undone. Um, I just kind of wanted to move on to other things for a little while before I get back into a massive terraforming project. Because that, that week was a lot of Minecrafting. And it's basically like 50% done. I also need to AFK the gas farm again soon. That is a thing for... I just... I don't like AFKing in this world. I know it's dumb, but I just... I want my day count to be as low as possible. So unless this thing is out or I need mass amounts of TNT... Oh, that actually... That one stays here. Where I, like, I need to fill this with gunpowder. I just... I don't like AFKing. I also know a creeper farm would be better. Maybe that's what we'll do soon. Because my plan was to. It for real. Have you finished the back of those mountains yet? If I recall correctly. Yeah, definitely. You didn't in the episode you built them. No, I definitely. They're finished. They're very, very finished. I don't know what you're three talking three about. Can you not three. see the beautiful mountain coming all the way down here, rolling down like this? Isn't it? Isn't it just fantastic? I think it's just the texturing. Mm, I'm so happy with how I did on that one. One day we'll do that. Uh, you can subtly AFK by sorting your inner chest while on the AFK platform. There you go. That's true. Uh, but I want to inside of this mountain, like inside of there, I want to build a creeper farm. That way. And then we'll move that creeper farms drops into the farm uh, output for the gas farm so that all of the gunpowder is ending in one location. I think that would be really cool. And then we can do like a whole bit about lighting up all the caves and everything. Um, so when I eventually want to do a creeper farm, that'll probably be when the back of the mountain gets fixed. Eight sniffer eggs. That's pretty good. I like that. Vibes. Okay. Uh, let me go put the spruce stuff back and then we will move the netherrack. Clean. If you're going to do anything with the mega tree, yeah. Uh, I want to expand the canopy on it a bunch. It it needs love. It needs a lot of love. Let's move shulkers of netherrack. Ooh Wait, that one actually... I might need some netherrack. I, I, I could loan some. I, I'd be willing to sell shulkers of netherrack. For like, I'll trade you netherrack for dirt. Anybody? I really want to turn it mostly all into nether brick. And then just like do something with it. I feel like that's a... I would love to use nether brick more, and I think with the addition of cherry, like, it's going to be possible. Or, like, red nether brick. Ooh, maybe I'll figure out a way to incorporate that. Above the mangrove tree farm, I feel like red nether brick for a roof combined with mangrove could be kind of fun. And maybe even nether brick itself. We done diddly did it! That's a whole barrel in a chest out of the house. Do we move the obsidian down there too? Anybody need a obsidian? Anybody? I got some. I get, I can spare a little bit of obsidian if anybody needs some. Cover the bamboo farmer for my sanity. Yeah, it'll happen. The next episode is going to be themed around sniffers. That I can confirm. And then after that, we'll, we'll work on that section. I think we'll do sniffers in the gatehouse and get that built out and call it good. Yeah, 
I never filled any of these. Okay. Nope, that one goes last. Actually, I want this shulker back. You don't need to be in there. Same with you. Let's see what else is in that nether chest that I have. We might be able to move some items out of here. Yeah, look at all that nether rack, nether brick, blackstone. Oh, yeah, we can move that down. We'll leave all those in here. That helps this a lot. That's a lot of nether quartz ore. Cool. Intense music. Yeah, this is boss fight and music. Something. I'd change it, but the song's almost over. That was a dumb idea. I need to empty my inventory first. I think Blackstone is what I want Nether Bricks to be. Like, that is so dark. It's so dark. It's really difficult to build with unless your entire theme is just dark. Or you really want that harsh contrast. And I just don't build with... I like lighter colored builds. N none of the stuff I really build is dark. Like, the darkest materials I use is, is dark oak. Like, that's it. Everything else is, like, a much brighter, happier, just, like, not vibrant, but just, like, you know, saturated, I guess. Now, the brick just is just, like, bam, and I don't like it. Music change is so funny. I know, we just, it's on shuffle. I think I'm going to move that battle music one out of here, but it has come up a few times that for funny moments where we're actually fighting things. But I also am fighting a shulker monster. So, valid. Don't you like my random potatoes and a bell in here? I think I have bells over here. Yeah, I have 15 bells right there. We got seeds and seeds. You can actually fit more seeds in this seed one. fruit can go in here with the actual you know coarse plants uh, let's start organizing this a touch yeah that bushes um, poppies can go up here maybe I <laughs> I'm just like, do I just take everything out? <laughs> Full reset. Uh, no, it'll be fine. This is okay. We'll just leave it like that. That's a little bit better. A little bit more calm before the storm. Don't even want to think about that. And yeah, perfect. Look at all those empty shulkers. Look at all those empty shulkers. These are all my end stone, which we could move the end stone down. That seems like a valid thing to be in the, the quarry. I won't move the sandstone down quite yet. I, do, I don't know where I want to go with that. Cody's here. What's up, Cody? Welcome on in. I think I can get these back. So that's all of there. This is all the end stone from the the entry. Uh, that I I was like I'm gonna get a bunch of shulkers of end stone just so I can have it. And well, I got a bunch of shulkers of end stone so I can have it. Have I used any of it? Nerp. Not at all.
But that's what these double chests are for, and I just never really use them, so it does feel kind of nice just to move things in here. Did they go up to a fourth? No, I blocked it there. These, oh, there's, oh, geez. We might need another row. We definitely need another row. Okay. Uh, this can be end stone bricks. Oh, we're going to need a whole nother thing for... Uh, uh. Nope, this is where a shulker comes in. This is where a shulker comes in. This is the point of shulker boxes. To make storage solutions smaller. Sorry, I have to do it. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Hey, for real. Cyberpunk City in the end on island be cool build. I have thought about doing a Cyberpunk City. Thank you for the donut one. Uh, I've thought about it, but I feel like it'll take away from the tree. So maybe that'll be something like off in the distance. But I do think a Cyberpunk City would be really fun to build. I've always wanted to do one. The last time I attempted it was in Legacy SMP, if anybody remembers that. And that was a fun project to work on. And I think with the frog lights and everything we have now could be even cooler to do. So maybe one day, who knows? Build it underground. Yeah, I like keeping this overworld into full fantasy. Like I don't, I don't like the idea of just like flying somewhere and then being like a different era. I want everything I make to be blending in. Uh, so I, because I like to use the world to tell a story. And the second I get into like where you have to go to different regions and you're in different like complete styles and blah, blah, blah. Even if you're like 20,000 blocks to the nether. To me, I'm just like, uh-uh, that's not really the vibe I want to go for. We need to repair this elytra in a second. But before we repair the elytra, I want a trip to show y'all. This is our base. We base. And I want to show you how close the nearest desert is. Because we're going to have to build a road, which would be fun. Co cool stream project. Um, we have a road coming all the way through here. Currently, the road goes like this and either ends there we could branch off of or it ends here. Either way, we can kind of carry on. We'd have a few bridges to build, but we would have a distance of travel. I think that one re results in less bridges. But this one is smoother terrain. So maybe go that route. A bridge would be a fun project. Thought about a piglin village in the nether. Uh, could be fun. I just don't bother wearing gold. So they'd, I'd, they'd attack me constantly. Yeah, so we'd bring the road through here. That'd kind of stretch along that way. We could kind of loop around and go through the jungle here. Like the edge of the jungle. Because that would just be kind of fun to have a jungle. Um, coming this way. And then we would need to go along the edge of this. We hit the second jungle over there. And we have our cool village along the side of the hill here. And then this is the desert that I want to build in. We got this cool little bamboo section. We got the jungle edge, which is so vibrant and lush and everything. And then, I mean, that's new. This, oh, so these these chunks got cleared. This village was not here before. Oh, the village map got updated. Oh, poor sheepy. Oh, one's still alive. Sorry. That okay? So we have this, and there should be a camel here somewhere. Where'd the camel go? I thought I saw one. Where'd the camel go? Camel? Oh! Camel! Any good loot? <gasps> Emerald. Yeah, so this is the project location I'm thinking of. We'll go episode 41. We'll jump out here. So we got two more episodes working on our current stuff. And then we will uh, 
jump out here and start doing this. And one of the things that I really want to do, another big stream project that we can tackle pretty quickly, is I want to tear out all of the red sand, shear all of the dead bushes to begin with, and replace all of the red sand along here. Probably expand the river out so it looks a little cleaner. Including all the red sand back here. Basically the whole mesa biome. Tear the red sand out and add in regular sand. Because I think that contrast from that against the terracotta looks so much better. We're not we're probably gonna like cut it off like right here. But everything in there, because this would be the, the build zone. Eventually maybe we'll come out and do this whole section too. But the place that I want to actually build in for this. I've talked about it forever. I think I found this in like day 400 and I've been talking about it since that I want to build here. But this little stretch through here, this, that valley, have a river running through the middle and have like a cool little like desert build kind of going up the sides and around here and like turning this all into civilization. And then really do a really cool um, like terraforming project, turning this into like a mouth of a main river leading out into the ocean i think it'd be so fun so that's 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 where i'm thinking that project's gonna go It'll probably be like a four or five episode one we'll see chisel gold armor counted as gold nah, i'm glad it doesn't i see why that would be cool because you're like i'm wearing gold but i also that would force players if you think about it everybody would have one piece of gold armor trim everybody would have one armor trim that has gold on it it would become a necessity compared to anything else which means that no matter what you're doing because that would that would change armor trims from being cosmetic to being a a way to get more player power and i don't like that i like them being purely cosmetic you can wear what you want you can do what you want i mean you're gonna get the best armor out of having netherite on there but if you want to wear like diamond armor and put a cool trim on it like you're you're gonna be totally fine still too so, did I miss field planting? We didn't plant one on stream today, no. Uh, Maximus, thank you so much for the three months, my dude. Pleasant surprise to finally catch you live. Normally, I'm only able to watch the stream replays. Greetings from Germany. Hey, how's it going? Isn't it like almost midnight over in Germany right now? Pleased to meet you. Thank you very much again, my dude. I really appreciate that. Um, but yeah, the, the flight isn't too long. Like, getting over there and getting back. Like, that was 60 durability on the Elytra. It's not great, but it's not terrible. Also, I do love this castle. I really want to add some like small little village houses right out here. I planted this field and I haven't even spent enough time here for it to grow. <laughs> so, oopsies. This was me being like, I need a new place to plant a field. I don't know where to put one. And I did this and then it, it just never grew. But maybe when I'm working here next episode, because we can finally do a little bit of building up spawn, that'll be close enough for that to grow. 10, 15 p.m. in Germany. Oh, okay. I thought Germany was... So you guys are... An... You all are an hour beyond the UK then. Okay. Messenger posts along the road. Yeah, I'm thinking... like Along the road, I want to add a bunch of little stuff like farming hamlets and things. That's one of my favorite things. I don't want just a road that's just dirt going forever. Like, where this from here is just like dirt along... Then you still like you hit that, but then there's nothing like I don't want it to be overflowing. Like I don't want you to see structure, be in that structure and then see next structure and be in next structure, then see another one. Like I want there to be some dead space that gives it more charm. But I still want it to be like something cool along the way, maybe some custom trees, and then like little farms here and there. Because that gives us reason to build along the entire distance, too, because like somebody will stop halfway and be like, you know, what, this is fine. I went far enough. I don't need to make it to the city. And so maybe I'll set up a little inn here and travelers along the way who also don't want to go all there at, at once. They can stop and spend some money and I can earn an income. And you're like, we. And that is how Las Vegas came into existence. Okay, let's go repair this. When is the next episode releasing? I haven't even started recording it. New Life will be next week. And then I'm, I'm, I'm like halfway done recording the next New Life. Um, I've been working on it a ton. And then after that, I got to get the... Then I'll start on Hardcore again. Go see the Star Trader. I know, I really want to give him, like, a little airship. We'll just go into the... Yeah, we can make it.
Yeah, I want to give him a little airship so he can have some, some fun vibes. We'll do this so that I'm not breaking all your eardrums. Yeah, New Life will be next week, and then 4,000 Days they'll be releasing next weekend, and then it'll probably be Hardcore the week after uh, video, and then we'll prop. Then I'm gonna don't break that, please. I want to get back to like one and a half videos a week after the movie series is done, and now that I'm back in town, so I'm really trying to get back to that. I think it'll be good to have. What happened to Skyblock? I it's backburnered. I don't know when it's gonna come back. I I was like starting to feel the burn on Skyblock of just like and eh, just not really excited about recording it. And then New Life came out and I was like, I would rather record this. <laughs> so I just kinda stopped with Skyblock. I feel bad about not having a conclusion on it, but it's fine for now for me. There's a skull in there. Okay, cool. That's that's prepared. Ooh, more rockets. I always try and clear it before I send the little guys back up, the wolves. Because, uh, oh, there's a stack of skulls in there. It's been a while since I've cleared this out. That's a lot of coal, too. I love this farm. Was this worth the 200 hours I spent on it? I don't know. It depends how long I live in the series. <laughs> but right now, I'm glad I did it. I'm glad I did it. It'll be a little bit of Stockholm Syndrome of, yeah, I did it. I better be happy I did it. But, you know. Woo! Look at all that coal. Not even looting the bones. Any more skulls? More coal, though. Can I get... Should be able to... No, nothing in there. Okay. When you're releasing the Empire, it has to be a world map. Uh, Josh is sending me the download, hopefully today. Then I'll get a video recorded for it and hopefully out next week. bones now that we actually fixed it and got the sphere finished out it's this is actually working so much faster it's amazing what's your favorite color personally favorite color i really like purple branding colors wise i always do like orange and light blues do some tall grass and some trees along your dirt paths yeah i kind of do little patches of flowers and grass and whatnot as we go Please chop the jungle trees near the starter house. <gasps> I could never. Don't you ask me to do the unthinkable. That tree has been there for the entire series. Now I really need to do something with it. I don't know what I want to do up here yet. I feel like more buildings is the vibe, but I also don't know if I really need more buildings up there, you know? Okay, we're going to take all of the coal and just put it in here. <laughs> That is eight stacks of blocks of coal. <laughs> That's four stacks of wither skulls. Oh, there's another half stack. Cool. You can come in here with the wither roses. And then these skulk blocks can go there too. Let's try and take these flowers. Can I put them in here? Yeah, they can. Perfect. Beetroot seeds can go with other beetroot seeds. You can go with the rest of your 
dead bushes. The beetroot can go up there. Oh no, there's a lot of beetroot. Why do I have so much beetroot? I don't need red dye for anything. No orange tulips? No, no orange tulips. All right, my friends, I think that's where we're calling it for today's stream. We have cleared out so much storage. Ignore that. Ignore that. Definitely clean. These are my micro blocks that I get from the wandering traders. Still haven't cleaned them. But we got storage cleared. We got wall built. We got tops of walls fixed up and finished, which is so good. And we got the sweet berry farm fixed up today, which I am very happy about. Uh, I'm I, dude, I'm so excited to be playing in this world again. I Not that I wasn't excited. Like I I've always had like a steady hype, but now 1.20 is here and I'm just like, go <laughs> play game. I want to play Minecraft. <laughs> and I'm just like, like get new life done so I can come back to hardcore. <laughs> But my friends, thank you all so much for hanging out today. I really do appreciate it. I hope you all have a very lovely weekend and all that good stuff. Again, thank you all so much for all of the support and everything. Y'all are so very kind to me. I really, really do appreciate it. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody who's been sticking around for a long time or just jumping in here brand new. I saw another person uh, who responded to the last video. I know I was talking about one of uh, somebody who became a member last stream who was like the original 20. And I saw somebody commented on the last episode that was also somebody in there. So seeing some of those like OG names on the channel is so very cool. So thank you everybody so much for however long you've been hanging out. I really do appreciate it. Y'all are absolutely amazing. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But with that, my friends, I'm out of here. So I'll catch you all on the flip side. Bye.